Hi, my name is Laura Mitchell and I'm the secretary of the North Carolina Art Education Association. And I work in Buncombe County Schools in Asheville, North Carolina as the arts education specialist. And I wanted to share a little special somebody with you today. Hi, I'm Ernie. This is the first sculpture that I made in first grade. Mr. Weinkoff was my art teacher at Summit Drive Elementary School and my best friend made Bert. And my mom was like really good at saving my art and I'm so grateful to have this. And I also still have a piece of pottery that I made, a little pinch bowl, um, pinch pot that I made in elementary school. So art has always been an important part of my life. And um, I went to the University of Georgia thinking, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, be uh, an artist and study drawing and painting. And then I got hired at a camp in Colorado and I wanted to be a backpacking guide. And they said, wait, you're an art major. We're going to hire you as the, the arts and crafts director of the camp. And I was like, no, 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 I don't teach kids art. I just make it. And they said, well, if you want to work here, that's what you're going to do. And it was a social justice camp where we got to paint for peace and we had a artist colony where I had a group of little girls in a cabin and I'd take them out for night hikes and we would um, draw on the aspen groves and I realized that my voice in art education was going to be much louder and more purposeful than the voice that I had merely just painting and having my art hanging in prestigious galleries. Although still important for my own self, I realized I did have the gift of creating that um, or cultivating that creativity and inspiring youth. So um, ended up getting my master's in art education and actually do my student teaching before that and loved teaching middle school for many, many years and spent my first experience with the National Art Education Association um, with my mentor, Diane Hopkins Hughes took me to Houston, Texas for a national convention and I was blown away. I just couldn't even believe that there were that many art teachers out there and that they were all so inspiring and the energy and the commitment and the, um, the inspiration that everybody provided for me during that conference really just lit a fire under me and I knew that I would always be a part of it. So um, ended up teaching in North Carolina and have been on the board for um, different positions throughout the years and have just loved meeting people from across the state of North Carolina and having friends and looking forward to seeing people at conference each year. And I'm so happy to be the recipient, the 2017-18 middle level art educator of the year for NCAEA. And this hangs proudly in my office. And then I also, one of the other huge parts that is super important to me is I applied to be um, accepted into the School for Art Leaders through NAEA and was accepted and got to go to Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville, Arkansas with educators from across the country. And Crystal Bridges is gorgeous, beautiful place and learned so many skills and so many things about myself so that I could be more of an advocate for art education and more of a leader um, as now I understand myself better and I have support from a community of art educators from across the country and also with my colleagues here in North Carolina that I love dearly and I'm so sad that we can't be in person this year for our conference but I'm so excited about the presenters and the workshops that are going to be being held and that we'll still get to convene with each other through Zoom. And I just wanna thank everybody out there for doing what you do, for teaching our youth, for inspiring them, for loving them, and for giving them the tools to collaborate and to know how to take risk, to create beauty, and to create change in this world through art. Have a great day.